so today's video is a tutorial on the eye makeup look that I'm wearing right now it's very bold and unusual but you guys know that I like doing different stuff like this from time to time I used some colorful eyeshadows glitter white eyeliner and I think that it came out super cool also just take a moment and look at my lower lashes I make them half black and half white and you guys this looks so weird but I love it <laughs> so I really hope you guys like the look too please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and let's get started Alright you guys, so I'm going to start off with priming my eyes and I'm using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pad. I'm going to apply it with the Sigma P89. Uh, you guys, this is the best eyeshadow base brush ever. It was not made for that purpose but so what, it does a good job, doesn't really matter what it was made for. And I'm just going to use some face powder to set it, just lightly dusting something on so the eyeshadows that I'm going to apply on top of it will blend on easier. You guys know how it goes, it's just the small details that really make the difference. Now the first eyeshadow that I'll be using will be this one here by Makeup Geek, it's called Cupcake. This is actually a very wearable pinky shade, it's not that uh, bright pink shade that you can't really wear, it's really pretty like muted pink, it's gorgeous. With my Morphe M412 brush I'm going to apply it in the crease and don't worry if it goes on the lit area, it doesn't really matter, but try to keep it mostly in the crease. Alright, so next we're taking again an eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. This one is called Wisteria. It's that uh, lavender shade. Uh, we're going to use a very small amount of it today because it's kind of intense. We don't want that much color. Um, on the eyes today. I'm going to use my Sigma E36 brush to apply it again in the crease. This is a very detailed blending brush. If you're doing a cut crease or you know something that it needs a little bit more precision, this brush is perfect for that. Next, I'll take this glitter here by um, Sigma. It's called Astral. Uh, it's actually super duper pretty. It looks like that. I'm going to use this as a base for the glitter. So I just took some of it out in the cup and I will add a tiny little drop of contact solution in it. Like one drop is enough. And I'm going to mix it together and apply that all over my eyelid. And then I'm going to take again that uh, Sigma E36 that I used to apply the purple shade and I'll use it to blend that glitter into the crease so that there is no harsh line between the crease and the lid area. The brush has no additional product in it. Alrighty guys, so now we're going to add some glitter. This is probably the most fun part of the whole eye makeup. I'll be using this liquid glitter eyeliner by e.l.f. It's called Stardust. I don't know if you guys remember, but in my copper glitter smoky eye tutorial, I used this one here. And a lot of you guys like actually the idea. So when I purchased the copper one, I also got this one here, which again, you can't really use this as an eyeliner, but you can definitely use them if you want to add some glitter to the eye look. This one that I'll be using today has like trillion colors in it. Um, it's one of those glitters that, you know, it's not just one color that is shining, it's a lot of colors. So let's see how this is going to turn out. Um, I haven't really done this look before, so I'm really curious. And you don't want to use a lot of layers with these because they can crack and peel off. I don't know if I want to wear black eyeliner or white. I think that with black it would be much more wearable, but if I use white eyeliner it, it's going to be a lot more fun. So I think that I'll go with white. And I also don't have a tutorial on my channel with white eyeliner, so let's do it white. <laughs> I'll use this one here by Sigma, it's called Endose. I'm excited about this one, let's see. Thank you. 
I look so weird. All right, so next I'm going to take again that pinky eyeshadow by Makeup Geek that I used in my crease and I'm going to apply it underneath my lower lash line. I'm using the Makeup Addiction Smudge Brush. And I'm also going to add some of that lavender shade. I really like that I have some white eyeliner on the tip of my my lashes, I don't know if you can see that. And I think that I'm going to add some falsies and then add some of that white eyeliner just at the tip of the hairs. We'll see how this looks. I'm feeling really creative today, so... <laughs> So I'm actually not going to apply any white eyeliner at the falsies. Actually, I'm going to do that on my lower lashes. I think that's a better idea. So I'm just going to apply some black mascara at the roots. And then I'm going to apply some white eyeliner at the tips. Now, that's something different. <laughs> I guess this is my warm-up for the Halloween. <laughs> Alright, so now let's go ahead and finish up the face. I will contour with this shade here. Um, this is the Morphe 9C palette. The brush I'm using is the Zuiva 127. Next for blush, I'll use this one here by Essence. The shade is Natural Beauty. The brush I'll be using is the Morphe M462. I got this one from the drugstore yesterday and I really wanted to try it out. This brand has very affordable products. Um, I mean, all of their products are very pocket friendly. And for highlighter, I'll go with this one here. It's from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Deep Glow Kit and it's called Moonstone. That's intense. <laughs> so on the lips, first I'll go with this lipstick here by Too Faced. It's called Sugar. This is way too nude for me. It looks like I have concealer on my lips. So on top of it, I'll go with this um, lip gloss here by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's called Metallic Rose. And this is the finished look guys. I love how the eye makeup turned out uh, with that glitter and white eyeliner we just took it on another level. <laughs> and I'm also really happy that I found a matching lip combination because before I came up with this one I tried like 100 others. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video and if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in my next one. Bye!